welcome to Conversations, Cocktails, and Connections. I'm Amy Hester. I'm Emily Reeves. Are you ready for a drink, Amy? Yes, I am. Okay. Are well, you ready? I am always ready for a drink. <laughs> you remember I told you a couple of weeks ago that I did like a um, uh, a tonic water haul, like I bought all the flavors. Yeah. Okay, so tonight we're going to try the Fever Tree Sparkling Lime and Yuzu. Okay. So it's really just a vodka tonic, but yeah. with like a, a, so we're making, this at least will be easy on us. We were just talking about can't anything be easy. Yeah. Um, so at least this will be easy. So we're going to do, um, you know, I'm going to do uh, two parts uh, vodka and then we'll top it with the sparkling lime and yuzu and then we'll do a little lime garnish. So it'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy or limey squeezy. <laughs> yeah. um, that is the plan. And we're, we're almost out of vodka in the studio. Um, so we might be doing a little mixing of brands here, mm -hmm. but that is okay. I've got it on the list of things that we need to okay, purchase. Okay. So it's kind of nice that because of that, like we're kind of dwindling, like getting some of the like bulk of the, yeah, you know, having different mi like different kinds. I yeah, guess. Yeah, so we can kind of start know? getting like streamlining our mm -hmm. thing now. Look at that. I mean, like I feel like I should just put that <sighs> yeah, in there. Yeah, just add it. Let me see how much is in there. Let's see. That's where have I'll you found it. all of those flavors at um, Heights Fine Wines? Okay, because I have a friend that was. Um, making one of our cocktails and she did she couldn't find the aromatic one. Oh, i got it at heights fine wines okay mm -hmm. heights, fine, heights fine wines <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard one to say heights fine wines heights fine wines um yeah so okay um, good yeah, i figured they, that's probably where it was uh -huh. but um now the betty buzz i got it at kroger yes um but they might be getting it right they might be getting it at heights <laughs> fine wines I, I, I mentioned it. I, I just like the packaging and the name of the Betty Buzz. Thing. I know. Um, I do too. And then I saw it when I was in Kroger the other day. I didn't buy it, but they had, they had the regular Betty Buzz, which we still have some of, and then they had the Betty Buzz ginger beer. Oh. So I don't know if it, what other flavors yeah. it comes in, but those were the two that they had at the at okay. the Kroger. At the Krogs. Okay, pick, okay. Your, pick your poison lime. I'm going to do um, a squeak. Oh, I think that's the wrong one. Little squeeze, Actually, squeeze. I might take the big one. Drop it in. A little fancy vodka tonic. Nice. Cheers, cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. Hmm. I literally put the big one in, and I was like, "It." <laughs> no, you know. What do you it's think? It's different. It is different. It must is be it, the yuzu. I don't, I don't know even what, know what that is. I don't know what yuzu is either, but it's different. It's good. It's, It'll, yeah, because you think that you're just going to have like this regular regular old mm -hmm. vodka. Yeah. I, I, I can see myself sitting by the pool drinking this. I don't hate it at all. Mm -mm. It's a good summertime drink. I'm going to have to look up what that what that is. Do you know that vodka is the most consumed spirit in the U.S.? I did not know that. I learned that today. The more you know. I wonder if it has anything to do with like how... I watch a lot of TV <laughs> and alcoholics, you know, they'll put it in their water bottles. Um, no, it has more to do with the <laughs> fact that it's like it's um, it's really easy to make because you don't have to like distill it. It doesn't have to age. Uh, so you can like make it pump it out, make, make it and pump it out really quickly. Mm -hmm. And so and it's a good mixer, which makes it one of the more inexpensive spirits okay. because it's because of the way it's um, mm -hmm. made. So that's probably why it's the. That's probably why. I don't know if, if that is why, but that would be my I wonder my guess. This is a question that you're probably not gonna know or an out but it but like I wonder what it is since it's a, the most inexpensive thing to make. Mm -hmm. Like what makes the most expensive vodka expensive? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think it has to do with the filtering process. Okay. So there's like several different like, I mean, at least that's how it's all marketing. Right. Right. Um and so uh like it's it's whether it's imported so like where it comes from where it's made yeah. is probably part of it but then it's also the the um the filtering because like there's something like oh we use you know volcanic rock to filter it or you know yeah there's also the like potato versus rice vodka and i use um, my grandmother's pantyhose yeah, I mean, I you know, I don't know. We could probably get Phil Brandon back on to tell us because <laughs> yeah. because he sells a lot of vodka, but uh, for Rock Town, yeah, and it, it recently won like, like double gold, like yeah, some San, big awards, San Diego, or and the Elderflower Liqueur really? went, uh, won big awards, which is on our grocery list mm -hmm. over there. So yeah. um, let's check so, it out. Yeah. So he'd be the one to tell us. Anyway, All right. cheers, cheers, my friends. 
What has been occupying your brain lately? That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of things that are, I don't know. We we went out of town Mm -hmm. this weekend for the first time in a while. And we went to a place in Mount Ida, which this is really funny because when we were driving, I'd never been to Mount Ida, Mm -hmm. which I thought it was all just hot springs. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and then we, when we're driving through, it says, welcome to Mount, Mount Ida. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. This was like a separate little. Yeah. My godparents town. live in Mount Ida. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, we went to the Shangri-La Resort, which nice. has been there forever. Uh-huh. And it's like motel. I mean, it's, when you say resort, it's not, it's one of the only places on Lake Washita that is beat, like literally lakefront because yeah. everything is, you can't have houses on that so I looked at their website because I knew that you were going mm-hmm. there and their website needs help. Yeah. Like, I don't know There's, how they're convincing cannot, anybody to come there. I don't think they have to. <laughs> like, I don't. Like, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, it books up. And um, I, the only reason I even knew about it was because when I worked at Joel's along, you know, at the very first place, mm-hmm. um, Cynthia, one of the girls that works there, she and her husband used to go there on the weekends. And she's like, oh, we're going to the Shangri-La this week. Mm-hmm. And they would just, like, kind of go and hang out by the pool or whatever. Mm-hmm. And there's a pool, and there's, like, you're right in front of the water. Mm-hmm. The whole time I'm in there, I'm like, oh, man, if they would just, like, put some floors and it's paint. I mean, just, a, like, a little bit, but mm-hmm. they don't have to. People are... People, because of the location. Yeah. Location beats it out. That's amazing. I mean, and it is all old school as far as, like... When I called to reserve, there's no credit card to be holding it. Mm-hmm. I pull. I mean, I was it, that made me nervous. I was like, "What if they didn't really write my name down? Like, do we mm-hmm. really have it?" Mm-hmm. I mean, um, we had what I thought I had reserved a cabin, mm-hmm. but it was a kitchenette. I don't know thing. what that means. Mm-hmm. Which well, so it was totally fine. Um, it's basically it was two rooms. So it's like the bedroom and then the living room with mm-hmm. a kitchenette. Okay. But the view, we were right in front of the lake, and it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. I did see the cottages, and Matt even made a made a um, point. And he was like, "I'm glad we weren't there because the front, the view in front of that is like the boat docks." Oh, okay. So we had a prettier view. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a they have an awesome little old school cafe. Cool. It was really good, mm-hmm. and um, I had chicken fried steak. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even tell you the last time I had chicken fried steak. We had pie. They're known for their pie. What what kind of pie? Coconut cream is what I got. I love coconut cream pie. Mm-hmm. Love it. And uh, so we were, the reason that I really looked, Matt's birthday was Monday. I looked into this place because we could take the dogs. So we took all three dogs. I think that's so good. Yeah. Like, I mean, it I just. It was the first time that we've ever done that. Mm-hmm. Um, our dogs have never gone somewhere with us before. Yep. Um, and see, we only travel, we'll travel with one or two, but never all three. Well, and they they were good, and it was kind of a test. Now, I don't know how they would be in peak season with a lot of people walking by because there's literally the biggest picture window that gives you the most (laughs) beautiful view of the lake. Oh, my gosh. In the living room part. Did Merle go crazy? Because that's where Bunny would go crazy. They all would bark if somebody walked by. (laughs) But if we left, we lowered the shade. Mm -hmm. Um, The thing that that I did not sleep well because I was so worried about having to get up in the middle of the night or in the morning to have to get all three of them leashed and mm-hmm. leashed up mm-hmm. and walking them in the dark by myself. Which well, Matt could have done. I was, I was trying gonna say, to yeah. do it. I was. It was his birthday. I was uh, trying to okay. be like easy, and we and we had been drinking, mm-hmm. and so I literally was was so stressed about mm-hmm. that. And it's only it's my fault. I mean. That's a dumb thing to be stressed out about. But it was really fun. We had a good time. We got on the kayaks. Mm -hmm. Um, We've decided that our 60-pound kayaks are the heaviest 60-pound kayaks ever (laughs) Uh because they're all just awkward to carry. You know, it's like the way that they're, like, Mm -hmm. anyway, and I'm so freaking weak. I got to start working out. Yeah. Um, 
But um, I have today ordered this like trolley. Mm-hmm. So you just put, put the nose on it and then yep. it helps you like move them. So mm-hmm. it's probably going to be the wrong one. Now, let but. me ask you, how many times have y'all used those kayaks since you bought them last year? Mm. Two or three times. No, I mean, and I, I'm saying this like because I'm very self-aware, like that's something I do too. And then it's like, okay, I use it once. I'm like, okay, now I need this trolley. And then I'll use that trolley once well, in the next the, year. And last then, you know. year, um, we, did, we didn't do it as much, but literally we think we think we're, we really want to try to utilize it yeah. this year. And the heart, It looked really fun. I saw your me, pictures. I, and I told Matt this, it, to me, the part that annoys me is like getting everything loaded. Yeah. Because we don't have racks. Like Matt has a truck. And so he just puts it, but you still mm-hmm. have to like strap everything down. Oh, it takes yeah. time. Like I feel like for me, easy is like, let's go. Yeah. And that's, I know that's not ever going to be that way. Yeah, I was going to say it's it, not realistic. No. But, yeah. but I mean, for us to be able to just grab it, I want things to be the easiest way possible. Yeah. For us to utilize the kayaks the most. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. So well, we're going to try this summer. So it's just, we've already done it once already. So let's just try to. <laughs> do it again i know i know let's let's hope i it's, mean we've had such, peaceful we've had such crazy weather it's like you can't oh it's really hard to plan right now um oh i mean it's supposed to be cold like we're recording on thursday this weekend's east this easter. weekend's easter this will come out after that but like mm-hmm. i looked up the weather for easter because of course i want to wear wear one of my new nap dresses that's like a fun spring color mm-hmm. and it's gonna be 57 degrees somebody needs to like start making in like because it's always the white little, for little kids, like the white little cardigans. Oh, or so like, super cute. Like maybe making it more like coat-like. Listen, I um, I went ahead and ordered um, like a white uh, turtleneck bodysuit to wear underneath it. <laughs> That's smart, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, so because like, you know, just to kind of layer You ever and- worn a dickie before? I might have like in college or the 90s, you know, sometime in the 90s, Uh I probably Uh did. I don't, I can't like picture one off the top of my head that I definitely wore, but I remember them being a thing. Yeah. I mean, it may not with those. It may not be long enough. Yeah, it wouldn't work. And well, you need a long, long sleeves and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. um, So, yeah, I was like, oh, I'm still wearing. Yeah. I'm still wearing it. I'm going to, you know. I have white jeans on today. Actually, you know, what's really funny about. Those the, jeans that you said that you hate, that you've worn every time I've seen you. These aren't them. Oh, those aren't them? No. Okay. <laughs> no, this is the first time I've worn them. These oh. are the jeans that I bought at the Women and Children's pop-up shop oh, the, yeah. last year. Uh-huh. And I can't even remember when, like, what what time of year was that? Was that spring or fall? I and have I'm, no idea. Because I swear to you. I think it was fall because it wasn't that long ago. Okay. Well, because I pulled out a purse that I bought there, too. And I've had so many people, like, like yesterday I had the purse. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like your purse. Where'd you get it? Pop up shop today. Oh, I like your jeans. Where'd you get a pop up shop? I'm like it's like all of a sudden I'm wearing the stuff. Well, yeah. So it was probably off season yeah. when they were selling it in the pop up shop. Because I, I I was like, oh my gosh, when is that? I have to go <laughs> back. Um, I'm gonna pause this real quick. Yeah. We take off one of your bracelets. Oh, okay, sure. Just because they're clacking a lot. Um, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <gasps> Did you? See that message that I sent you about the Iris? Um, I sent it, I forwarded it to you on Instagram that she, ha- you know, Iris. Um, oh, oh, that she's got that like an H and M part. Uh, H&M. mm-hmm. I was like, good, good look at this hundred year old. I know that was super. It was, I know that was super cute. I mean, I love that kind of thing. I to me, I need to see that stuff in mm-hmm. person, and I think it's probably in like limited. Right, right. Like, Probably well, we have it at the H and M here in or Little Rock. Do we? Do we even still have an H and M here? So. Um, speaking of shared Instagram, so you shared that with me. I shared with you the guy that got a blowout. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> the the it was this video of the and it's like it's like completely like blown out like a woman's and and it was like he said the stylist asked if he wanted it blown. They wanted to blow out and he didn't know what it was so he said yes but you know what it's honestly kind of hard to think like so a guy but this guy had long hair mm-hmm. and he had, like shoulder length hair mm-hmm. and you think okay well so if most guys when they come in this, to the salon and they have short hair you they you put your product in and mm-hmm. maybe maybe put the dryer on or they leave wet yeah well with someone with that long of hair <laughs> right. it's like drenched and you're uh-huh. like Hmm, do you send them out in right. 30 degree weather or 40 degree weather? But, with, can, like, but you can blow it out without doing a blowout. 
<laughs> it, looked, it had body. <laughs> it looked good. Yeah. I know. I uh, I mean, I swear, I swear my husband and I communicate through Twitter shares and Instagram shares these day, days. Like, we're both sitting, like, in the living room, and we're talking-ish, but we're mm-hmm. also both on our phones, and then we share stuff back and forth constantly. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I tend to see, like, what pops up on me is, like, obviously things that I look at for a long period right. of time, which is monkey videos. Monkey videos. All of a sudden, I started seeing monkeys, and so then I would stop and watch them, and I'm like, "Oh, they're so." So cute. now you get more and more yeah. of them. Oh my god, I love that. Okay, so <laughs> um, I I have posted my first two TikToks this week, and I I'm gonna try to What's keep doing. Ticking? I'm doing uh, like, talk. I'm doing <laughs> book reviews. So oh, okay. there's like a whole like subculture in TikTok called book talk. Oh, nice. And so. You know, because I'm always trying to, like, I just want to make sure I understand all of the, like, even if I don't use, like, I, when I open TikTok, I mean, I'm a good 90 to 120 minutes in before I look up. Like, it's insanity. That's exactly why I haven't done it. And, like, I mean, it's, it's insanity. And I was like, okay, if I'm going to open this app, I need to, like, understand how to create the content that goes on it. And, um, I know, Mm -hmm. like, whatever. But anyway, so that. Um, I mean, it's just like anything else. It just fucking takes time. Yeah. I mean, you know, I spend an hour creating a, yeah. you know, two minute video that goes up and I'm yeah. like, okay, well now I spend an hour and a half on the platform scrolling and then an hour creating the content. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. But now I have kind of like a basic understanding of how to create it. Like I understand how it works and I understand how people are using it and what kind of content is on mm-hmm. TikTok. But now I know kind of, and it works a lot like Instagram reels. I mean, yeah. there's some differences, um, but anyway, go follow me on TikTok for <gasps> book talk. <laughs> um, so I think that you should go in on that with like your audio talk too, because I'm currently listening to the Tiffany Haddish thing. And oh, I, and I yeah, you. no, that'll be audiobooks too. Okay. Like it'll be, any, I consider like reading audiobooks, Kindle books, physical books. Like, okay, I mean, good. all of that falls into like, that's a book. That's a book. It doesn't matter how you've read it. Emily? That's a book. And I know you would like that. She's I so funny. I am cracking <laughs> up. Okay. I mean, I, so I had kind of paused for a minute. And now I'm like to the point where I'm ready to get back in the car and turn it back on. It's so good. She's she, so funny. I did not think that you would be able to read how it's supposed to be said. No, I think the audiobook is the way to go. Yeah. Like her delivery. Have you? I'm sorry, but my favorite story is with the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett when oh, they I get on the boat. Oh God, my that's fa- my. For some reason, that is my favorite part of that book. My favorite part is mm-hmm. um, Roscoe. Okay, remind me. It worked. Hey, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. you'll have to if you. I'm telling you, Tiffany Haddish. Uh, she's a great storyteller. I mean, I think is what it's called. It's what it's called. It's, it's so good. Here's the thing. She's a stand-up comedian, right? Like so comedians know how to tell a story yeah. in an engaging way yeah and so this book is full of her stories yeah and i mean and in the and the thing about it is like i literally if i would have read how she said like the exactly the words like she's saying mm-hmm. there's no way i would have gotten it as well as the audio like yeah. listening to her say it in the way that she it is so awesome she's so funny she's great she's so funny no i i mean i'm a big audiobook i love it i'm a big audiobook I love it fan if i mean i've gotten plenty of audiobooks where i didn't like the narrator mm-hmm. so i don't end up it's all about yeah how they're delivering. so i'm currently in this and this is i mean i I don't know if this is embarrassing or not. I don't know. I mean, I love to read. Mm-hmm. And I love to read almost any books. But for some reason, I'm like in this very much like romance, <gasps> like stage of okay. my reading. And it's because it's mindless and entertaining. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's, cause, maybe it's because I'm 43 years old. <laughs> I'm about to be 44. I don't know. But um but I like them because it's just like an easy yeah. thing to kind of kind of read. It's like complete trash, complete trash. And Have I'm you reading. ever listened to? Okay, so oh. this is where I was going with okay. that. So, um, so again, I read physical books. I read on Kindle. I read mm-hmm. audiobooks. Like it's just it kind of depends on where I discover the book as to how it ends up in my in my. Thing. So, audiobook is one that I'm listening to. And, and to be clear, romance books are not like constant sex. Right, right, Okay? Right. So it's, there's a s- storyline, weak as it may be, whatever. Yeah. So it's, you know, but there's like, m- there's segments of 
sex. Yeah. But there's not like, it's not like every page is that way, right? There's a storyline. So I have an audio book that I'm listening to and it's like, it's set in you know it's more like bridgerton area okay uh, like times time frame anyway so i've had um this this week i had to go to northwest arkansas um so you had some time in the car i had some time in the car but i also had somebody riding with me so i couldn't listen to it but i, I mean i love road trips for that and like i just recently yeah. went to shreveport listen to whatever and and i was going to pick him up and my colleague up and i was like i need to make sure the audiobook is turned off or if i have like or make sure like all the volume (laughs) is down on my because like mostly when when we're in the car together we just talk the whole time right and um, i was like so like give it accidentally comes on you're like i know so i had this like moment of panic as i because it was 5 30 in the morning when i was pulling up in the driveway to pick him up and i was like is everything off turned off turned off (laughs) because i was like what if what if your colleague your male colleague got in the car and you're listening to to like some stupid sex scene you know or even like when i pick up sophie from school like occasionally i pick up sophie and i'm like let's make she doesn't really pay attention but kids listen to think more things than you think i'm like let's just make sure all of this is turned down turned off switch to the radio i I told you that i listened to all of the sookie stackhouse true blood i don't think i remember that when that was popular when true blood Mm -hmm. came out i listened to all the audios and they are (laughs) vampire porn okay no what i called that was when i because when it came on hbo i called it uh violent porn yeah i mean because well, it was like I, I couldn't i couldn't watch it oh i loved it but I, <laughs> I mean, but I would have that playing in the kitchen or something mm-hmm. and that would come in and it's like it's just like oh sucky oh <laughs> yo suck my, i don't know what I mean, mm-hmm. just, he would be like what what the hell I'm listening to and there like, was Shh. there was one time um <laughs> When I was um, driving back from, uh, we were driving back from Louisiana. I can't remember why we were there, but I had Shannon and Duke in the car mm-hmm. with me. I don't rem- again. I don't remember why we were there or what we were doing. But we put, we decided, we decided as a group that we were going to listen to Fifty Shades of Grey in the car on the way back. And I was, and I was driving, and Shannon was like, "Oh, this is going to be exciting." Like, none of us had listened to it or read it or anything. And Duke's like, "Okay, I'm ready. What are we? What are we going to hear?" <laughs> We turned it off because the writing was so terrible. It was like, I mean, it's awful. Like, so we couldn't even yeah. get through it. And I, and again, I like, and that was 10 years, who knows ago, yeah. who knows how long ago that yeah. was. Um, like I can, I can listen to, you know, stupid stories, but not bad writing. Like yeah. it was, I don't know how Fifty Shades, I guess, I guess people just really loved the sex scenes because the writing is atrocious it is atrocious like if she like she said christian gray 15 times in the matter of you know two pages worth of copy and i was like i I can't i can't i can't why don't we just call him chris (laughs) like i can't like so yeah Yeah. so anyway all of that to say i I never really got into that well uh, clearly i didn't either (laughs) so um (laughs) i love the fact that you're doing the tiktok though that's great i mean you know i'm just I'm just kind of. Like, I'm just kind of like experiment. Like I mean, I like Emily's to book club. I like to experiment with different, you know, yeah, anything course, that's course, digital. I'm trying. I'm trying to yeah. kind of explore. I also, um, you know, went to Shreveport. Mm-hmm. We haven't had a one on one in a long time, so I went to Shreveport the first weekend in April, and um, I made a little video. Like I edited a video. I put it on YouTube, not on uh-huh. any social stuff, of like my weekend and going to Shreveport. And I used like the video from my glasses and uh-huh. um, and all that stuff. Because How did that turn out? I mean, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It's just a few minutes long, and um, but we uh, did like typical Louisiana stuff. Like we went and got crawfish and yeah. ate crawfish, and I, you know, got um, a frozen daiquiri. So I had like the tape across the, uh-huh. you know, thing. So we did like Aww. like kind of um, traditional Shreveport stuff. So that was so that was fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to change the subject, please. What have you been watching? So there's not a lot I right know, now. So I we know. watched Spider Man No Way Home <laughs> because we hadn't seen it yet. Yeah. And it was it was good. I'm sure it is. It was I, really entertaining. I think Spider Man of all the superheroes, I think that's my least favorite one. Oh really? This was But good. I mm-hmm. know that there's like all the old villains are in it and aren't there other Spider Man in it? Yeah, and so. and they're and you know, he's kind of a light um a light-hearted character yeah. and so i think, I think that's kind of fun I would watch it i mean there's nothing really else on 
And besides Bridgerton, finishing that. We finished Severance, which the last episode was intense. Okay, we're going to have to finish that It was intense. Like, I was like, you know, and they've already been renewed for a second season. Really? Mm -hmm. It's so weird. Um, It's on Apple. It is, but man, it's, like they bring a lot of stuff to, um, like you, hopefully like you, you figure some things. You figure some stuff out, but they leave you on a fucking cliffhanger and it pissed me off. Like when we were done, I was like, I'm fucking pissed. I know. Cause the whole time on the show, mm-hmm. you're like, what is, there's so going to be something else that's going on. Like it's going to be something so crazy, mm-hmm. but, um, you have no idea. Yeah. Um, I am watching and I'm, God, I can't remember the name of it. It's the story that was out, you know, I remember the headline about the girl who assisted in the, I think she was convicted in the murder of her boyfriend because he did suicide and he, and she Oh, like, is there a show out about that? Yes, and Elle Fanning is playing really? the, um, the, the girl who was it convicted. Was, it was like, didn't she text him or yes. something? So there uh-huh. was all, like, thousands of texts. That messaging. wasn't that long ago. No, I think it was, like, in 2017 or something like that. Uh-huh. Could be mistaken. But it wasn't... I remember the headline. Mm-hmm. And that's that's something that happens in a lot of shows. It's like... Or or, or um, true things that you hear the headline, but you never, like, hear the follow-through of... Mm-hmm. Like, I think I knew that she was convicted, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm-hmm. Like, is she still in jail? I don't know. And I'm not going to look it up because I want to finish the show. Oh, you're so the opposite of me. Like, I will 100% look it up. Like, I know what she looks like because uh-huh. actually Elle Fanning is looking old. She looks a lot like her in yeah. certain yeah. stuff. But she's kind of cuckoo. Man. Yeah, there's not much on mm-hmm. right now that I want to watch. I mean, there's stuff out there. I just am not. It's not. It's not pushing my buttons. No. Right now. So, um, so I've been more into my, my reading than I have yeah. my... Um, my uh, TV lately. I know. Ozark is going to come out soon, so I am looking yes. forward to that. And um, the second season of Flight Attendant. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. it comes out n- next week. Okay. The 21st. I've, so I think that's like next, I think that's, that might be next good. Friday. But that, I mean, I love the first season of that. I hope it's not a wake, I hope it's not a wait a week kind of thing. Mm. I can't even remember what network it's, it's on. Well, I think it started on HBO Max, and now I think I've seen advertising. It's like TBS or something, but I don't know if that means like somehow TBS and HBO Max or I don't know. You know, I've seen all the promos for it, but I just in my mind, I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter where it is. I'll just figure it out when, like, because everything gets advertised to me. So somebody will tell me, some advertiser will tell me that it's starting today, and I'll go Um, look it up. But it when it came out last year, it was a wait a week thing, and if it's on HBO, it will be. Yeah. I feel like it's probably on HBO again. Probably. <sighs> Old timey <laughs> TV. What the weekly drop model? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I am was talking about some pop culture today. Like, uh-huh. what do you think about Jen and Ben getting re re engaged? I mean, I really don't put a lot of thought into it, but I'm like, is this, is this for real? I mean, I guess so, but. Uh, so what's been engaged like seven times so i looked it up (laughs) i looked it up last weekend and um she has been engaged five times she's been married three so this engagement would be her sixth i wonder if she keeps all the rings i don't know it's a lot of looks like love does cost a thing Did you just, did you? Just do I just that? thought about that. I'm Girl, sure. Oh, you should be in comedy. I'm sure somebody else has Girl. said it. I'm sure somebody else has said it. But it just it just occurred to me when you said, that "I wonder if she keeps all her." Is rings. awesome. <laughs> oh, you're so fast on your feet. I am not. I'm just toes. I'm just a little tipsy. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yeah, I was just I don't know. The, I did, I'm kind of like over all of that but it, it's just funny i just feel like it, it everything just, it's is like so everything fake. everything that's old comes back again and becomes new i think that falls into that range but kind of on a similar string um i was i read this article last weekend and then i and then i read it out loud to matthew because i shared it with him and he didn't read it but it was in the washington post which i know sounds boring but no, this I, is not I, boring because it is um how people are using the language that people are using on social media to circumvent the algorithm because the algorithm will push down language like uh, nipples or um, lesbian or, you know, there's certain things like uh-huh. that because it's computer. Like they think that it's being 
to because it's because contra- it's controversial yeah. controversial or they think that like political people won't like it or it's political or just the same way bullying. like with um like do you notice on um instagram if anybody mentions covid or the pandemic it, yeah. it puts up an mm-hmm. automatic flag and so this article was all about this like subcult like I can't remember the terminology they use, but basically it's like the secondary language that gets used on the social platforms, you know, among these like kind of subcultures, subcultures to try to circumvent algorithm um, pushdowns. And so like, instead of nipples, they say nip knops or when they're, when they're um, spelling out lesbian, they use a dollar sign instead of the S in lesbian. And then that gets pronounced by the, uh, if you, if you spell it that way, you know, the, the voice to text thing that like sometimes you can like type something and, mm-hmm. it, and then it does the, thing. Um, the voice to text thing pronounces that as la dollar bean and so then that starts becoming a thing instead of when people want to say lesbian they say la dollar bean uh bean because that's how the auto you know Chalang- like Ch- Ch- Bong. <laughs> yeah so anyway it was like a really fascinating article about how like what some that of these like so crazy. sometimes like when you're reading a caption on TikTok or Instagram you're like thinking this makes no sense it actually makes a lot of sense to the people that understand that language because they're using certain terms oh, to circumvent just, that's crazy. and it was really really fascinating which is not a new phenomenon in the whole like trying to get around like political statements yeah. so like back in you know anti-war movements they would use different language to kind of be right. subversive in in how they speak anyway it was truly fascinating and um and so i, I read it to matthew he's like this is because i was like you should know this is like if you hear your teenager yeah. speak in this language or use these words like what they're what they're referring to um i'm sure, there's a, I'm sure there's a ton of them though yeah, and yeah, I'm sure it's like, it changes like it, too. yeah, and it's like um, there was something f- like I mean, and it's in it's in all sides and all. I mean, it's every kind of like culture there is. So like, there's anti vaxxers There was something I can't remember off the top of my head, like what they called anti vaxxers but it was you know there was like a language that mm-hmm. because if you tried to say that in Facebook, Facebook would you know suppress the the post, and so they came up with a, a word for that. And but you have to like kind of know it in order to follow the conversation, so crazy. and. Um, so I found that really fascinating. And then today I was, because I did spend time on TikTok today, unfortunately, um, like kind of the whole uh, Gen Z slang. So the whole idea of like Gen Z using a language that the rest of us don't know. And so this one like girl was kind of like quizzing. Um, she was quizzing millennials, which, you know, we're Gen X, but whatever. We're the forgotten. We're <laughs> the forgotten generation. And so some of them I knew and some of them I didn't. Yeah. Um, but like you've heard no cap, right? Yes. I, it like drives me crazy, but like understand yeah. that. Um, there was one, uh, I mean, so there's like a series of eight and I think I knew most of them except uh, I didn't know. She said bussin. Do you know what bussin means? No. And what it's like, it? it's like dope. Like, oh, you're bussin. I mean, and it then, so stupid. and then drip, you've heard drip, right? No. Okay. So. Drip is like your clothes, like oh, you know. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. And um, uh, then uh, bet. I hadn't heard bet. Like, what does bet mean? We used to say bet, like, uh-huh. like it was almost just like, like bet. You just you would you would say I can't even put a definition really. Mm-hmm. It's like. Well, in this context, I don't know what your context was, but it was like, because I hadn't heard it used that way. Mm-hmm. But once they said it, I was like, well, that makes sense. But it's like, um, it's like, yes, like, do you want to do this? Bet. Like, um, you bet, basically. It's like, it's like, you bet. You betcha I do. You betcha I do. You but it's like, bet. Dollars. Anyway, so it was, anyway, I, you know, I think it's, you know, to kind of, we, we have to, start, we kind of have to keep up with that shit. We need to start making up our own stuff. Well, we, we have our own stuff. I mean, like, our parents didn't understand some of the things that we said, yeah. you know, I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like that because you feel like you're aging and you don't. Yes, like it. You, I don't like it. Well, I yeah. don't have, I don't have children in the hu- in the house. I have a child to, in the house that doesn't speak to me, so I don't get it from her. I'm just gonna learn everything from you, Emily. Well, I mean, I just get on social media. <laughs> I do too, but well, but I don't. I, yeah. Anyway, I but, will teach you everything. If I find out, I will teach you. Okay. <laughs> that does not mean that I'm gonna know it. That just means I'm trying trying my best to at least understand what's being said around me not that i can speak the language it's like 
Emily. Uh huh. I have a great idea. Okay. I'm probably not going to like it, Emma. No, you will. We don't have to talk about it right now, but remind me in a minute. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So real quick, I want to hear. Have you purchased anything? I I have not really purchased much. So. Listen, I've spent a shit ton of money in the last three weeks, but it's not on stuff for myself. It is because B has been oh, yeah. to the vet a lot. She's been to... Do you know that there is a veterinary ophthalmologist here in Little Rock? I did. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we've been to specialty vets. We've 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 been we've been a lot of a lot of things. So most of my money has gone to veterinary care the past few weeks. How's she doing? I think she's on on the upswing. That doesn't mean that she's going to be. Like, I mean, we have some, we have some yeah. long term, like, you know, critical yeah. a- a- issues, but she's much better than she was. Um, Merle, mm-hmm. our sibling, we have sibling dogs, um, Australian Shepherd, who is a miniature, but ours is not miniature. He's not. I don't he's, know how they were in the same litter. He been, is having some back leg, like, mm-hmm. like hard to get up and stuff. And it's been really scaring me a lot. And I was like, oh my God, like I will die of like, what if he had had something broken and we never knew about it. Yeah. And, but the the vet didn't think that like a while back and they gave us like the, the anti-inflammatories and mm-hmm. all this other stuff. Well, today we took him to the vet to have the um, x-ray. And I think he has like just uh, that um, degenerative. Mm-hmm. Um. Basically, mm-hmm. like I have only gotten this much from Matt about it, but it's mm-hmm. like, I was like, so what do we do? I was like talking so fast. Like, what do we do? And he says, well, it probably would be better for him if he would, would lose some weight. And I'm like, well, yeah, that'd be better for all of us if we would lose some I weight. I know. We've got two dogs that need to but lose some weight. But mm-hmm. also, it's hard to want to take him some like on a walk when, when it's hard. hard for him to get up. Yeah. And that we probably need to walk, walk him more and like, Maybe not with the other dogs and just, like, yeah. do a little walk. But, like, we did the smallest hike this past weekend, and he could barely get up later. Yeah. I know. It's so... I mean, they're members it of the family. It's so hard. So sad. I mean, it, it's, it's it's so sad. And he's I mean, only seven. And I'm, I'm like... But we started talking, thinking, uh-huh. okay, maybe it's because he's the biggest one. Like, maybe mm-hmm. because he was so big yeah. that, like, his... His joints or his hips and stuff are going to, like, I don't know, we're just trying to, like, somehow understand. Understand. I know. I know. Well, I mean, it's 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 really hard. It's just, it's really hard when yeah. they're, when, because they can't tell you what's wrong. And, and you don't know, like, how, because I, that's the thing is, like, we couldn't tell, like, if he was in pain or not. And mm-hmm. I really think that now I can tell when he's, like, panting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, it I makes mean, makes me really sad. <laughs> but anyway, that's not that we needed to go into that. But um, only thing that I've purchased are um, I bought these hoops off Amazon. I think they're eleven dollars. Nice, nice. Are and you happy with that purchase? I am very happy with these purchases. <laughs> and the, I sent you a picture of the shoes that I bought. Oh yeah, okay, I'm seeing them everywhere. There's a million, but I really yeah, they are the most comfortable. They are these slides. I know everybody's seen them. Mm -hmm. And they're waterproof. And your foot stays in. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, girl. They're my new slippers. (laughs) I've 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 already ordered another color. I've seen a lot of people... Uh, wearing them on social media like the last mm-hmm. 12 months or so and yeah. I, I just I can't like I I won't wear them I know I won't wear them but um oh my god like because they are not cute no I mean they're not <laughs> and that's the that was the struggle like I got blue which is such a random color mm-hmm. for me to even get but for some reason lately I've been really attracted to blue shoes mm-hmm. hey haven't been listening to Elvis <laughs> <laughs> but no um I don't know what it is, but I bought the blue. They definitely are not the same color blue as the picture that I sent. Well, the you. picture you sent more, more purple. Yes, mm-hmm. they are not purple. They are probably. I mean, they're are they more like a royal? Yeah, but maybe in between, or a navy. They're not. No, they're more royal, but maybe a little less royal. But I ordered more of a nude color, and the nude colors I thought were. I was like, I'm not gonna get a nude because I think they're gonna look cheaper that mm-hmm. way, but. I don't even care. They're so comfortable. I'm getting. Are you gonna wear them out of the house? Like, would you wear them to the grocery store? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, I had a client that had someone. I was like, Oh my god, you have those shoes on too. (laughs) She's like, Oh my god, I love them. (laughs) It's. I mean, they're not the prettiest shoe. Yeah, I, I, I probably wouldn't do it. 
okay. am I'm glad for you. <laughs> and there's a million of them. I mean, there's like a million different brands, and they all are. About I think the, same the original. Price. I think the original might have been Yeezys, mm. and then everybody else has done the knockoffs. I mean, I think they I, I mean, have something similar at Target. I've heard. Yeah, because they they've been around for I, I think maybe like a year yeah, or so. I mean, I've, uh-huh. Literally, I have been seeing them, and I'm uh-huh. like, oh, those are so. I mean, I know everybody says they're really comfortable. I just can't pull the trigger. Well, on I that. Yeah, I put on my Adidas slides a lot that are um just those uh-huh. old school Adidas slides. I have tripped in those things so many times <laughs> because they're really wide mm-hmm. and like the sole part is very bendable. Mm-hmm. And if you're, I mean, I've almost busted my ass big time. And mm-hmm. those, so I think I really, these are, I know are safe. <laughs> Cheers to safety. <laughs> Cheers to safety. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> are you going to use that tomorrow at work? I'll probably forget. <laughs> okay. Ari, ready to go home? Because I have, have to, we're one carring. So Matt's, I have my carpool. Um, he's here. Your ride's oh, I here. Don't know if he's here or not. I know. I'm ready. Matthew's ordered pizza, so I'm ready to go home. So good. Okay. Cheers, everybody. Love you, mean it. Love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.